Joe Badamasa, guitarist impressions. Action. <laughs> Hi everyone, Chris is back here with you today, and um, my last video was a guitarist impressions with Eric Johnson. Today we're doing Joe Bonamassa, and uh, we will probably cross over with EJ because you know Joe takes a lot from EJ. In his one of his recent recent interviews, he mentioned that his two influencers are the two Eric's. Clapton and Johnson, Eric Clapton, Eric Johnson. So we're going to talk about that today, and I'm going to get right to the point on things. I'm not going to talk a heck of a lot. I want you know, do you be able to kind of get this going if that's what you're into, you know? And I'm going to first off go right to the pedal board, show you the three setups that I'm using. I'm using my uh, secondary board today. Uh, the last EJ Impressions video, I used my full dual amp, dual you know, pedal you know. Uh, pedal you know set up rigs but today we're looking at my smaller rig let's just go ahead and do that now and what i'm going to do is take you through each setup right quick and then uh, we'll go right back to uh looking at uh, playing these notes and things but you know um what i want to do is just go right down here and look at this the setup that i did right as i was starting was more of a klein-esque type thing where i'm using this klein clone and that's the silver one. And I'm using a Marshall uh, 59 sound on the Zoom multi-stop with a TC Electronic tube pilot. So that gets this sound. More of a uh, just uh, amp drive, not really distortion. And that is great for getting singular lines where everything has got definition. <laughs> Okay, so that's the first setup that I will be using when we go back to full camera view. All right, the next setup will be more of the Eric Clapton idea, and that will involve using this Blues Breaker pedal, which is a breaker drive from Demon Effects. That will be more of the Clapton type thing, uh, like this. So there's that with the breaker drive. Then the third setup will be with the Keeley Oxblood, which will be more of the EJ's idea. Um, I, you don't have to use this compressor, but I do sometimes. And that's going to be using this DD3 Boss. I normally use the DD2 back on my bigger rig over here. If we recall the last video where I'm using that DD2 there. But the DD3, very similar. And... I got the Oxblood because I read an interview with EJ, and he said he had one in one of his pedal rigs. So I was like, it's good enough for EJ, good enough for me. I throw the delay in with that, and that's more of this sound. Okay, so that's kind of an EJ idea. So those three settings, you know, we've got that mid-range hump, uh, mid hump kind of idea. Again, with the Klein uh, clone. And, and sometimes I will put that with the um, compressor over here. And that will be more. And if I'm using like the middle uh, pickup on this uh, Les Paul, you know. You know, that kind of sound. Okay, so anyway, th there's the three kind of setups. Now we're going to talk about notes and playing uh, wise, what you're going to get into to, you know, again, get back into sounding kind of like Joe. So we'll go right back over here with the camera. And again, you know, it's, you know, 
I know, you know, if you're familiar with Joe and stuff, you know, he, he does play fast. You do not have to play fast to sound like Joe Bonamassa. Uh, because some of the people he admires didn't play really fast, like Clapton, you know, or whatever. And, uh, you know, I mean, Clapton can play sort of fast, but nowhere near, you know, what you see Joe Bonamassa do. But, again, you know, it's pentatonic bass. So, like, uh, you know, what I like to do is if I'm showing a student or somebody I'm sitting with, you know, how to get into it, uh, just get a couple of pentatonic positions down like these two uh like okay and we always learn them down here okay sometimes joe uses alternate picking to go through these so if you were working like that and then you would transport that to here. Okay, and then you fill in the, you know, open position with down here with the other position. So I like to use, you know, the, the approach of like walking through the, the pairs, like E, B, and, e and B string first, like. Once you get that E and B string idea, those are all the positions for the pentatonic. You follow through with the notes inside the batter. Like so, so just, you know, take your time with it. And I, you know, I've always been a slow learner on the guitar. I, you know, I have to kind of get stuff and just wear it out until I get it. And, uh, but you know, once you work on that, you know, and sometimes too, like Eric Gales does this as well, as well as Chris Stone Kingfish Ingram, we've got this, that kind of thing where you're walking through and, you know, like, so that kind of involves this thing, Eric Johnson always called it the bounce technique, but it's a little bit of an economy type picking. Look at that too, and take your time because you have to kind of let it simmer as you're going through it, or you'll just kind of forget it as you learn it. You kind of kind of like build it up into your memory, you know. So that, you know, and these repetitions that Joe does, like, okay, that comes directly stems from EJ. And work on those. That's kind of that, you know, introduction to uh, uh, Via Musicom for Cliffs of Dover. You know, you hear that one thing where he's just doing that. Um, okay, so uh, Joe, as far as chords, uh, you know, he uses the typical chords, and sometimes he'll do these interval things. Sometimes he does the Jeff Beck thing. I didn't mention Beck, where you get this thing. and uh, work on your tone and stuff. Today I'm just using pedal platform set up with the amp set to completely clean. If I turn all these pedals off and you hear the amp by itself, it's just this. Clean. Put the stuff back on. enjoyed the Joe Bonamassa and guitarist impressions video today. Subscribe if you like this stuff because I'll be doing some more stuff. See you next time. Take care. Yeah.